have shoulder surgery? If so, watch this. Alright guys, man, lately been checking my comments and I see a lot of questions talking about uh, shoulder surgery, uh, you know, how do I feel, uh, what kind I had, um, you know, what can I do, what's my limitations, you name it, uh, I'm getting questions about it. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do a little short little series or next few videos about um you know the whole shoulder surgery process and in this particular video I'm just gonna give some basic tips very very helpful tips um, for those that are about to have a shoulder surgery or maybe you just had one alright and this is just my experience right hopefully this will help you out first of all um, after you have a shoulder surgery now mine was my right shoulder right here okay for years, I'm 37, since like the age of 20, um, I would like pop my shoulder out. I developed a lot of arthritis. It really started to uh, hurt my movement, my mobility. It got to the point that like when I was like 30, when I would work out, you know, benching, um, uh, uh, any type of exercise, even push-ups became painful, right? I would get uh, cortisone injections all the time. I probably would get like two to three cortisone shots a year for like damn near 10 years right so it just got to the point where the cortisone just wasn't really doing anything it wasn't it wasn't really helping no more right so the hell <sighs> it just really wasn't um helping no more so it got to the point where my doctor was like, look, man, you got basically one option. Well, really two. One is just live with it, deal with it, and it is what it is. The second option was to uh, get a surgery. So he showed me, you know, what the process would be. He basically cut it, you know, here. He cut it in like three different spots. Went in the very with the little damn near like a little needle did everything real precise. He cleaned out a lot of the arthritis. He um, actually had to cut some of the collarbone. Uh, to, to He said when he cut that, it actually was to help with my mobility. All right, because I had a piece of bone that was just, just in the way, right? So he did all that. Now, I will say this. Everybody heals different. It's like my first tip. So when you get this done, the doctor might tell you, oh, a month, three months, six months. You have to go with how your body feels. All right. Uh, take this from experience. Um, be optimistic after your procedure because literally like two weeks after the, the surgery, the thought of me doing this, I would do anything to be, be able to do this because I could not lift it because, you know, it just got down in this procedure. It was so tight in, in that healing process. Like, the thought of me raising my arm, I would have been like, oh, the greatest shit ever, right? Um, but, guys, I got there. You know what I mean? It took a few weeks to get to that point, but you have to start slow with the, the rehabbing process. Now, with me, like, literally, like, a day or two after the procedure, my doctor was like, he gave me these basic exercises. Very, very basic shit to do. Um, and do them, right? It, it, it might even seem useless. But just subtle uh, movements, subtle movements, the couple days after my procedure, okay? The next uh, tip I want to tell you as a piece of advice, do not, do not try to push yourself after having a sh shoulder surgery. It ain't like when you're working out and people tell you to just push yourself and go to the next level and just fight through it. Hell no. Because you, it's very easy to backtrack after having a shoulder surgery. It's very easy to, to, you know, try to overdo it and just take five steps back, right? So guys, check your ego, guys and girls, check your egos and start slow. When you're able to go back to using weights, me personally, I recommend going to, um, going to resistant bands and stuff like that. But when it's time to go back to the weights and you want to do presses or, or, or lateral raises, start light as hell. 
start light listen start light all right don't feel like well damn they so light I, I ain't feeling it damn feeling something you just want to get back into doing the motions that you used to be doing all right um so you know that's that take it slow and then when you go when you start back weight start really really light ease into the movements uh third tip is i take some sort of joint supplementation now um if I got it, which is i did a video on this before but guys this and i i, I vouch for this turmeric is legit turmeric is like it, it, it's really helpful and I was on this for like two months I just started taking this a couple months ago and I noticed a tremendous difference in like pain after a workout during the workout uh, mobility is really really uh, helpful with this so I take this turmeric and I take fish oils okay I take uh, one, one of each okay eventually I want to get up to Taking like two of these a day and one fish oil capsule. Um, oh shit. I like this brand. It's really cool. Not too expensive. Uh, of course, you definitely want to get yourself some of these. Link in the description. I got these from Amazon. Now, I do want to tell you about another turmeric product that's really popular. I don't have it, but I'll share the link as well. This is for those who kind of really want to take it to another level with turmeric. Um, this next product has a uh, bioprint in it right I just heard about it and bioprint is supposed to be very 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 beneficial with turmeric alright so it's another product um, and while I'm putting this as a special you can get four bottles uh, for the price of one right so if you want to try it check it out why you might be interested with the turmeric and bioprint is because bioprint actually helps the turmeric absorbs quicker and more efficiently in the body so when I run out of these I might check that out don't know but I really do like these so far but if you want more of a oomph and more of a uh, absorption with turmeric link in the description uh, you'll see where it says um, uh, buy one get three bottles free check that link out check that out um, I think it's like 49 bucks you get like four bottles alright just to I guess they're so confident in their supplement they willing to give you a gang of uh, pills so or capsules whatever um, you could try that out or this is what I got right now um, it's up to you but I definitely recommend getting some sort of supplements for pain and um, joint you know to keep your joints loose and I find these are are great so all the links will be in the description all right um, so those are just like basic tips guys to really help uh, recover and keep your shoulder moving you know active and stuff like that now a lot of people ask me do I ever get any pain uh, when I work out and honestly sometimes certain movements I do feel a little not necessarily a pain but maybe like a little ache here and there okay I'm pretty much 90 95 percent where I want to be um, and now I'm to the point where I've been doing weights it's been three years since having my um surgery all right so i pretty much do what i want to do i could do uh um dumbbell presses i can do lateral movements i finally just started doing push-ups um so guys you can do it if you're watching this video and you just had it done and you feel like you can't heal or you feel like you'll you'll never get to where you were stay patient watch this damn video over and over again i went through it i really had it done I really had to rehab it and I'm really back doing pretty much what I want to do all right so uh, in the future I'm going to be giving making more videos in the next week or so um, basically showing you how I work out showing you what works and you know how I adjust stuff uh, and it should really help you out so be on the lookout for that guys all right so be sure to check out all of the uh, links below if you want to get your turmeric and stuff like that and fish oils be sure to subscribe, and as always, put that work in.